What's going on guys? Kyle Wolf here with a midweek international six days enduro 2022 update. Day three just wrapped up earlier today as France is six hours ahead of us, of course. And I have some uh, notes here. We're just going to go over the how the day went and how the standings are going individually as well as the teams. This isn't going to be a very, very detailed breakdown, but it's going to be a uh, breakdown enough to give you guys an idea of what's going on for the final two days of special test racing as well as the final moto on Saturday. So as far as individually goes, and uh, this is you know, across the board with everybody for the first time uh, in eight days of racing now, going back to last year in Italy, somebody other than Joseph Garcia wins the day. Andrea Verona of Italy wins the day today. He took two of the special tests. Garcia took the other three. So that makes three riders that have won special tests out of the 15, including Dante Oliveira from USA, who won the first special test on day two yesterday. Going into the uh, adjusted settings, the accumulated standings, I apologize, after day three, uh, Garcia still leads it. Verona is in second. Nathan Watson from Great Britain is in third. Steve Holcomb from Great Britain is in fourth. And Zachary Pichon from France is fifth. And Pichon is also the top junior rider after three days of racing. He has won. He has been the best junior rider all three days. And if that name sounds familiar to any of you, his father, Mikel Pichon, former world motocross champion, two-time 125E Supercross champion back in 1995 and 1996. So there's a good bloodline there with the Pichon family and Zach Pichon aboard a Sherco is leading the junior standings after three days of racing. Again, he has won all three days. He currently sits fifth overall in the standings. Um, after the third day of racing, as far as a U.S. standpoint goes, Dante Oliveira, he had a rough first test today in day three, um, really low in the standings. He is 13th. After three days of racing, Caleb Russell is 17th. Lane Michael in 21st, Josh Toth in 22nd, Austin Walton from the Juniors in 26th, and Mateo Oliveira from Juniors in 37th. Um, standings after, I'm sorry, that was today's standings. That was today's results. The standings after day three, Dante is actually in seventh, so he dropped a couple of spots from yesterday after that bad first test. Uh, today was a completely new day of racing, new tests. It's going to be the same thing tomorrow for day four. So after day three, Dante Oliveira sits seventh overall. Caleb sits 14th overall. Lane Michael on the Yamaha in 18th overall. Josh Toth rounding out the top 20, which is pretty good. Austin Walton, 28th overall. And Mateo Oliveira, 33rd overall. So that is our remaining six men's trophy riders. And uh, so that is their standings going into day four tomorrow. So Dante after today's racing, he will be on the seventh minute, and he will be the first rider to take off. Caleb will be a couple of minutes behind him. In the team standings, Great Britain on top again. They won the day outright by 58 seconds today. They now have a 2 minute and 23 lead over the Italians, who were the defending champions from last year. Spain is an additional 32, 37 seconds, I apologize, off of the lead. They set it right around that 3 minute range. France has now moved into 4th. They were outside the top four. They have bumped up from uh, fifth into the fourth place position, displacing the United States. They are 532 off the lead. However, USA, despite being dropped into that top five position, into that you know fifth position from fourth, they are only three hundredths off of France for that fourth place position. They've got some ground to make up, and they're going to need some luck to get into those podium positions. You know, a, a mechanical you know, just a rider retiring since all four scores count for them. But they're only 300s off of France. France, though, is starting to improve with their team of uh, Nambo, Lecure, um, Leclerc. I can't remember all their guys, but uh, Hugo Blanju is another one. They are starting to, you know, climb up the rankings. So USA is going to have to step it up tomorrow as well as Friday. Team standings from a women's from the women's world trophy. USA is dominating. That's no surprise to anybody. They gained another four minutes as a team just today. That's impressive. Just four minutes. And now, granted, a lot of it is on the back of Brandy Richards. She won all five tests again today. 
So that's 15 tests today. Going back to all the tests last year, she has not lost a test in a, in eight days of racing, nine days of racing, counting the, counting the final moto test in Italy last year. As far as special test racing goes, she has not lost a test in eight days of racing going back to last year. She, um, like I said, she topped them all again. USA has a team with her, Corey Steed, and Rachel Goodish. Another four minutes on the day to increase their lead. Their lead is now up to 11 minutes plus over the second place team of Great Britain. That includes Jane Daniels, Nev Holmes. Can't remember their third rider off the top of my head. I don't have the whole list in front of me. But Great Britain, Great Britain sits in second. France is in third. Australia and Sweden rounding out the top five. But there's such a huge gap there. Um, it's all USA. They just got to stay on two wheels and just keep finishing the test. That's really all they have to do. From an individual standpoint, Brandy has a 4 minute 12 lead over Great Britain's Jane Daniels, who sits in second. Just 20 seconds in back of Daniels is Corey Steed, so she's still right there in that top three for the women's outright. In fourth is Maria Badea from Spain. Fifth, our, uh, we can call her an import if we want to, Canadian Shelby Turner. She's been down here racing. Uh, she is 538 off of the lead that Brandy holds. Jess Gardner from Australia, you know, multi-time winner of the event uh, team-wise with Australia. She sits in sixth, and then Rachel Goodish is seven and a half minutes in back of Brandy Richards in seventh position. So USA has it unlocked. They just got to keep the machines going, keep the riders on two wheels, and uh, for another year, they're going to win this thing as a team and for a second straight year if brandy keeps on the path that she's going on she's going to have a uh, another individual uh title in the women's world trophy just on herself and then quickly i'm not going to go into a full breakdown on the club standings but the kbs team cz is leading it the czechoslovak one of the czechoslovakian club teams christoph kubel has won the last two days and uh he's been he's been putting in really solid time so they're, that whole team is strong. Their other two riders, obviously they're leading it, so they're not putting in you know slow times by any means. They lead the way. In second place after three days of racing is Team XC Gear, the U.S. team with Craig DeLong, Kai Aiello, as well as Tyler Vore. They are only 40 seconds down from the Czechoslovakian club team. So they still have a, a shot at this. Craig's been putting in solid times. Kai Aiello has gotten in the mix. Tyler Vore has been really solid. He's been consistent. He's been hovering right around that top 10 range, and he's been keeping uh, Team XC gear in that in that fight. Behind them, uh, Team Italy in third with Kevin Cristino, Bernini, and Kalar. I don't know exactly if I'm saying Kalar's name right, but Cristino is a you know former uh, enduro winner, ISDE winner with Italy way back in the day. Um, I, I believe that's right. Don't hold me to that. But uh, Christina's been putting in fast times. And then in fourth place is the Enduro Dream Team. That is the French team with Christophe Namaton, Antoine Mayo, and Pierre Alexander René. Those are three former ISDE champions. Nambo and Mayo, Christophe Namaton and Antoine Mayo. Uh, they have, they're multi time uh, world Enduro champions. Mayo's won five. Uh, World Enduro Championships before, and Nambo was on the French team that won the ISDE the last time in France back in 2017. So that's basically like taking Caleb, you know, Thad, Stu, Sipes, Taylor Robert, taking any of those guys and putting them on a three-man team in club and saying, good luck, boys, try and keep up. That's some serious company uh, with, that, with that grouping right there. In eight spot is the GTBN club team with Anson Maloney, Travis Renault, and Jaden Donners. They've been putting in great times. Donners had a really good fourth or uh, third day today. He had a really solid day, and so that's kept uh, GTBN in that in that grouping. I believe next is Mer Missouri Mutters, and they're in 14th, and then everyone else behind them. But uh, solid performances. The only unfortunate, you know, loss to the to the week was on day one right after the first test with Cody Barnes from our Junior World Trophy team. But uh, everyone else is still riding strong. After sending 31 riders, we still have 30 riders on track right now, and they're all putting in great times. But yeah, three more days of racing, two more days of special tests tomorrow and Friday with the final moto on Saturday. So 
USA still got a chance to get fourth in the World Trophy standings. Um, as it stands right now, if nothing else changes, but they are in the fight for the fourth place spot. I know that's not what, what you know we all hope for. We at least want podiums, if not a win from Team USA. But uh, they're they're fighting. They're fighting. It's uh, it was a tough day of racing today. So fell, fell it off the back, and then France uh, putting in a strong day. They put it. They were second fastest on the day today, as far as the team standings in that World Trophy classification. And then I. Uh, yeah, like I said, women world trophy, they're uh, they're on fire. There's nothing stopping them other than a, you know, retirement. So that'll wrap it up for this midweek report. Check check uh, my Facebook, you know, Instagram, everything else for day four, day five, as well as day six updates. Thanks for watching, guys. Check you on the next one.